Hey, this is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We are going to now tie a second EP bugger. This is tied for steelhead. Uh, I think it'll fish well for all kinds of Great Lakes. Any anadromous Great Lakes fish uh, probably be a killer in Alaska. Um, I'm going to try. I know some places I'm going to try it here in Oregon. A little bit unorthodox, but boy, it's a great looking fly. Buggers is tied on tube. Why? So you can have use a smaller hook than you normally would, so you can save your fly, save your fly's durability, and so you can have fun. Um, I like these small tubes. I pre-burnished this. That's a 730 seconds gold uh, tungsten bead. So this is this fly is going to get down. Uh, this fly is tied with an EP tarantula brush, and this is I'll have the color listed at the end. It, it's I call it the yellow with red gangly legs. But we're going to have to check and see what the official color is. I forgot to put in my couple strands of crystal flash. So we're going to add them right now. I suppose I'm the only guy that ever forgets to do these things, right? I don't think so. A couple strands on that side. See, this is called a workaround. A couple strands on this side. We get a trim. So this is this might seem now there there's my tube starting to twist. You gotta watch that. Sometimes what I will do is I will hold the tube while I'm wrapping the tarantula brush. This is these these fibers are spun on stainless steel wire um, with uh, a core color that's kind of a yellowish, creamy yellow, and then these red, rubbery, wiggly legs. Very fishy stuff. I was just saying. Uh, Pink's always been a good steelhead and salmon color for me. I'd not been much into yellows until two years ago. And then since then, I've become quite fond of yellow, uh, especially for salmon. So with the stainless steel wire, don't use your scissors. You got your barb cutting shears. You got that stainless steel stem, you push it back. Half a dozen turns of thread, nice and tight. You notice I wound that brush right up tight against the bead. A whip finish. So this fly is gonna sink very well. It's going to have a jigging action. Um, it has some bright fish attracting colors, murky water, early morning, late evening. There you go. Have fun with it. Tie a couple dozen. Thanks.